Hey, good morning YouTube. This is another quick unedited video just to give you an update on my JS8 call station. I'm looking at this as the ability to provide some practical real world applications and for practice I am trying to do a daily post. Yesterday's post was a uh, an attempt to publish a comma window in advance. The subject line was 40 meter voice comma window. I have the date and time in UTC, the band, and the mode, which was lower sideband voice. I also included a minimal pace plan, which included five frequencies, starting with 7.285 megahertz. Uh, our group knows that we jumped down to each frequency after a five minute window, did not include that given the small size. Now the cool thing about that is that now that I'm running my station 24 hours a day and switching bands throughout the day, I actually had two stations uh, based on my logs pull down the blog post on 40 meters. So I had Whiskey 7, Yankee, Sierra Bravo, and Kilo Charlie 8, Oscar, Whiskey, Lima. And then since I have an offline database and MCOM tools, I look them up to get their name and state. During the day, I switch over to 20 meters for a small window, and I had another two stations check in. Now, during the comma window, I turned off JSA call and went to voice. And about a one minute after that, Mike, Kilo Charlie 8, Oscar, Whiskey, Lima, at a distance of about 220 miles, uh, came back to me. I gave him a three by one. The bands were kind of rough. We were having an incoming monsoon. And then on receive, uh, on his end, he gave me a four by four. I was running 45 watts with the Cha Lefts 87, um, or sorry, 8010. Uh, he was running about the same wattage, if I recall. Now for today, I'm running into a small problem. So I wanna share with you this post. I cooked my QDX in the shack. We're approaching our summer months and it's now about 90 degrees, which is a little bit warmer, but the garage can go in excess of 100. So my post today was a call to arms over radio for my group. Uh, JS8 station too hot is the subject. And then the payload is station too hot in garage, need to move radio inside, need recommendation on coax pass through for office. Windows do not open, exterior wall stucco, send tips via Winlink. And that's the hot ticket here that I want to test, is being able to communicate this over radio, but then giving other, oper radio, other operators a chance to send larger payloads through other radio-based services like Winlink. So we'll see how this turns out. With that said, guys, let me know if you want me to continue these. It's really just a glimpse on what I'm actually doing for preparing. I'm not one of those guys that just puts out videos because there's a new freaking radio. So you'll never see an unboxing for me. I'm really focused on comms. And if you want a sneak peek of that preview, uh, please consider you know hitting that thumbs up button, watching these videos. All right, cheers guys.